This was never supposed to happen. The electric revolution was unstoppable. Tesla charging ahead, BYD flooding the streets, governments betting trillions on one future. The gasoline engine was dead, buried, forgotten. But in the shadows, Toyota was plotting its revenge. And now it's here, a machine so efficient it smashes the ceiling engineers swore could never be broken. 40% plus thermal efficiency. A design so adaptable it can drink petrol, ethanol, or hydrogen without breaking a sweat. A platform so versatile, it powers everything from a compact hatchback to a seven-seat SUV. And it's ready to be built in factories across the globe today. No charging queues, no rare earth shortages, no waiting for infrastructure that might never arrive. Just raw, future-proof performance wrapped in Toyota's reputation for bulletproof reliability. Before Tesla and BYD figure out how to bury this story, make sure you're in the loop. Like, subscribe, and share so they can't silence it. For years, the auto industry's gospel has been simple. The future is electric. Governments rewrote laws to push EV adoption. Investors poured billions into battery plants. Automakers tripped over themselves to ditch petrol for plugs. But Toyota refused to kneel at the altar of lithium-ion. Instead, it doubled down on what it calls a multi-pathway strategy, an unshakable commitment to mastering all propulsion systems, EV, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and hydrogen. It's not stubbornness. It's cold realism. Because Toyota sees what others don't. There's a huge swath of the world, India, Africa, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, where EVs are still a fantasy. Charging stations are rare, electricity is unstable, and battery logistics are a nightmare. In those markets, going EV only isn't visionary, it's suicide. So while others bet the farm on one future, Toyota's playing every future at once. And right at the heart of this master plan is the engine now sending shockwaves through the industry, the dynamic force engine. This internal combustion platform has been rebuilt from the ground up to sip less fuel, emit less, and run on petrol, ethanol, or even hydrogen. In EV-saturated strongholds like Norway or California, it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the latest battery tech. In regions decades behind, it powers ultra-efficient hybrids, Echoing the strategy that made the Prius a household name. Not forcing customers into an unprepared future, but giving them a bridge that's cleaner, faster, and far more reliable than anyone expected. And that bridge isn't just clever strategy. It's a mechanical revolution. Every bolt, every channel, every moving part has been reimagined with a singular purpose. To outperform anything in its class, not just on paper, but in the real world where conditions are messy, unpredictable, and unforgiving. Built on Toyota's TNGA, Toyota New Global Architecture, this modular platform rewrites the rules of manufacturing efficiency. The same base engine can slip into a nimble hatchback one day and a full-size SUV the next without a costly, time-consuming redesign. When market demand shifts, Toyota doesn't lose years re-engineering. It just slots the dynamic force engine into the next model and ships. But flexibility isn't just about vehicle size, it's about fuel adaptability. This engine is future fuel ready. It can run on petrol today, ethanol tomorrow, and hydrogen the day after without needing a major overhaul. Where other automakers panic at shifting fuel regulations or outright bans, Toyota simply pivots. And because the TNGA platform was designed to be multi-compatible from the start, these changes don't disrupt assembly lines or balloon production costs. Toyota's manufacturing strategy turns geography into an advantage. The company's global network of plants can build this engine anywhere, sourcing region-specific components to meet local regulations and resource availability. That means lower costs, faster rollouts, and fewer logistical nightmares. While EV-only manufacturers wait on battery shipments from across the world, Toyota can spin up production locally, tailored to each market's reality. In a volatile world where governments rewrite emissions laws overnight and supply chains collapse without warning, this kind of agility becomes a weapon. And the numbers backing it up prove just how sharp that weapon is. Over 40% thermal efficiency. In plain terms, that means this engine converts more than 40% of the fuel's energy directly into motion. 
a staggering leap from the 25 to 30 percent efficiency that has been the industry norm for decades. The path to that number starts with a longer piston stroke and smaller bore, an unconventional pairing that gives each drop of fuel more time and space to combust fully. The result? More power per cycle and far less waste heat bleeding into the atmosphere. This isn't about squeezing a little extra performance, it's about rewriting the combustion equation. Then there's the compression ratio, now raised to 13.1. That's an aggressive number, even for high-performance sports cars. But here, it's engineered for everyday driving. The tighter the air-fuel mix is squeezed before ignition, the more explosive power is released. If you can keep the engine from cooking itself in the process. Most engines can't. This one can. That's where Toyota's variable cooling system comes in. Instead of a one-speed mechanical pump, the engine uses an intelligent electric water pump that fine-tunes cooling in real time. On a freezing morning, it warms the engine faster for better efficiency. On a scorching climb through the desert, it steps in early to keep temperatures locked in the sweet spot. This adaptive system doesn't just prevent overheating. It actively boosts performance by ensuring every component operates in ideal conditions. Add to that multi-hole direct fuel injection, a mouthful of jargon that hides its real impact. Instead of blasting fuel into the cylinder in a coarse stream, it atomizes it into an ultra-fine mist through multiple precision-drilled holes. The finer the spray, the cleaner and more complete the burn. The outcome? Lower emissions, more power, and the kind of throttle response that makes even a hybrid feel alive under your foot. These aren't minor tweaks. They're cumulative gains, each multiplying the others to make the dynamic force engine one of the most technically advanced combustion systems ever put into a mass production car. And while electric vehicles might still look unbeatable on paper, zero tailpipe emissions, cheap per mile energy costs, whisper quiet acceleration, the real world tells a different story. Charging can take hours without ultra fast stations. Public chargers are often busy or broken. And in extreme cold or blistering heat, battery range can nosedive by 30 to 40%. That's where Toyota's hybrid approach, built around the dynamic force engine, sidesteps the limitations entirely. In city traffic, the hybrid system runs almost entirely on its electric motor, gliding on stored battery power for quiet, clean movement. The petrol engine only wakes when it's truly needed, cruising at highway speeds, climbing steep grades, or recharging the battery on the move. The result is EV-like efficiency without the wait for a charging bay, without worrying if your route has fast chargers, and without watching your range collapse on a freezing morning. In places with limited infrastructure, whether it's rural India, where fuel stations outnumber charging points 100 to 1, or sub-Saharan Africa, where power outages are a daily reality, that adaptability isn't just convenient. It's the difference between mobility and being grounded. And it's the payoff from a long, deliberate game Toyota has been playing for decades. Inside the company, they don't call it a breakthrough. They call it the result of a 20-year chess match. The seeds for the dynamic force engine were planted in the early 2000s, back when climate debates were heating up and fuel prices were sending shockwaves through global economies. While rivals focused on squeezing minor improvements out of existing engines or chasing early hybrid concepts, Toyota's leadership quietly authorized a project that would dismantle internal combustion down to its smallest component and rebuild it for a different century. Over 300 patents emerged from this mission. These weren't just broad ideas or flashy concepts for marketing decks. They were precise, microscopic optimizations. The timing of a valve opening measured down to the millisecond. The exact curvature of a piston crown to influence turbulence in the combustion chamber. The angle and dispersion pattern of fuel spray measured and refined until it created the perfect air-fuel blend for complete combustion. These changes sound insignificant in isolation, but when engineered to work in perfect harmony, they become transformative. Testing was relentless. Prototype engines ran in the blistering heat of Middle Eastern deserts, in the oxygen-thin altitudes of the Andes, and through the ice-bound roads of northern Hokkaido. Each environment revealed a new weakness, and each was systematically eliminated. Cooling systems were refined to survive scorching summers without sapping performance. Fuel injection tolerances were adjusted for the density shifts at high altitude. Materials were upgraded to resist thermal fatigue in extreme cold. 
advanced AI modeling became Toyota's secret weapon. Instead of the old cycle, build, test, tweak, engineers simulated thousands of design variations virtually, letting the AI pinpoint the most promising combinations before a single physical engine was built. That approach shaved years off development and kept costs in check even as complexity climbed. By the time the dynamic force engine reached production readiness, it wasn't just efficient on a dyno sheet. It was battle-tested for the real world, ready to thrive where lesser designs would sputter, overheat, or seize entirely. And it wasn't simply built for today's roads. It was engineered for the rules and fuels of tomorrow. It already meets, and in some cases surpasses, the most stringent standards on the planet, from Europe's Euro 7 to America's tightening cafe limits. CO2 output is low enough for even the strictest urban caps, while NOx emissions are a fraction of what most legacy engines produce. If a country suddenly bans petrol, the same engine can be adapted to burn ethanol or hydrogen with minimal retooling. No full redesign, no new production line, just a different fueling system and calibration changes. Even maintenance is future-proofed. Extended service intervals and simplified requirements mean that in developing markets where advanced diagnostics are rare and parts can take weeks to arrive, these cars keep moving instead of sitting in workshops. The engine's thermal management system, combining electric water pumps, precision thermostats, and adaptive coolant routing, ensures that operating temperatures remain stable, whether crawling through a humid tropical traffic jam or climbing a dusty mountain pass in searing heat. The result is consistent performance and longevity in climates that push lesser engines into early retirement. For Toyota, built for all conditions isn't a marketing line, it's a hard requirement. Every component is designed with the understanding that the next customer might be driving through a monsoon in Bangkok, a sandstorm in Riyadh, or an ice storm in Alberta. And in each of those scenarios, the dynamic force engine has to perform exactly as it did on the showroom floor. That global versatility is exactly what's fueling Toyota's resurgence. The EV boom brought a narrative with it. Toyota had fallen behind. While Tesla grabbed headlines and BYD blitzed the market with affordable electrics, Toyota seemed cautious, even slow. But the launch of the dynamic force engine has flipped that narrative on its head. What once looked like hesitation now reads as strategic patience. This engine proves that internal combustion isn't dead. It's evolving, cleaner, more efficient, more adaptable. And unlike EVs, which are tied to a single energy source and a fragile supply chain, the dynamic force engine can shift seamlessly between fuels, climates, and markets. Leveraging the TNGA platform, Toyota can roll this engine out across its entire global lineup with minimal delay. A compact sedan in Europe, a rugged SUV in Africa, a hybrid pickup in South America, all can share the same core technology tuned for their specific needs. That kind of scalability doesn't just speed up deployment, it slashes development costs. Lower costs give Toyota the ability to undercut EV rivals in price while still delivering efficiency numbers that compete in the same conversation. In markets where price sensitivity is the ultimate deciding factor, that's a devastating advantage. For the first time in years, Toyota isn't just following the industry's lead. It's setting the pace. Competitors will have to respond, not in months, but in years. And every month they spend catching up is another month Toyota spends widening the gap. Meanwhile, the companies that once seemed untouchable, Tesla and BYD, have built empires on one unshakable foundation, battery supremacy. Tesla's identity is inseparable from its cutting-edge lithium-ion and upcoming 4680 cells. BYD, meanwhile, dominates with its blade battery, undercutting competitors on cost while cranking out EVs in staggering volumes. For years, the battle between these two giants has been over chemistry, capacity, and charging speed. Toyota's dynamic force engine throws a different kind of punch, one that sidesteps the battery arms race entirely. EV-focused automakers are tethered to a supply chain that stretches from rare earth mines in Africa to processing plants in China and battery gigafactories in the US and Europe. Every link in that chain is vulnerable to politics, trade wars, and simple scarcity. Toyota, on the other hand, can build its dynamic force engines today in factories it already owns, 
using a mix of local and global suppliers. It can launch new models without waiting for a single mine to open or a gigafactory to go online. This production readiness gives Toyota a time-to-market advantage that could stretch into years, especially in developing markets where the EV rollout is slowest. Every year Toyota floods these markets with hybrids is a year competitors lose potential customers to the brand's growing loyalty base. And as that advantage compounds, the whispers inside Toyota's R&D labs hint at something even bigger, a move that could make this disruption permanent. Insiders say the dynamic force engine is just the opening move. The real shockwave will come from a vehicle that fuses this next-generation power plant with Toyota's long-awaited solid-state battery, a technology the company has been quietly refining for years. Solid-state batteries are the holy grail of electric mobility. By replacing the flammable liquid electrolyte in today's lithium-ion cells with a solid medium, they promise massive leaps in energy density, charging speed, and safety. Toyota's internal projections, never publicly confirmed but often hinted at, put the range at 1,000 km on a single charge, with recharge times as short as 10 minutes. That's longer range than most petrol cars, refueled faster than you can finish a cup of coffee. Now imagine pairing that battery with the dynamic force engine in a hybrid configuration. In daily city driving, the solid-state battery could carry the car for hundreds of kilometers without ever touching the fuel tank. On long trips, the engine would take over seamlessly, eliminating range anxiety entirely. No more planning routes around chargers, no more worrying about seasonal range drops, just uninterrupted mobility. But the rumors don't stop there. According to some leaks, Toyota is also experimenting with direct hydrogen combustion for the dynamic force engine. Unlike hydrogen fuel cells, which use chemical reactions to generate electricity, hydrogen combustion burns the gas directly in modified cylinders, delivering the visceral feel of a traditional engine without producing CO2. Put it all together, and you have what some engineers have already nicknamed the triple power hybrid. Solid state battery for pure electric driving, dynamic force engine for petrol or ethanol operation, and hydrogen combustion for a zero carbon ICE experience. It's a configuration so flexible that it could function in virtually any fuel ecosystem on Earth. From Tokyo's hydrogen stations to rural Africa's ethanol supply to America's interstate gas pumps. If these rumors are true, the launch wouldn't just rival the impact of the original Prius. It could eclipse it entirely. The Prius changed how the world thought about hybrids. A triple-power hybrid could change how the world thinks about the concept of a car itself and insiders suggest Toyota could unveil it within the next five years, putting them well ahead of competitors pursuing similar multi-energy platforms. While others are still perfecting their first generation of solid-state prototypes, Toyota would be deploying a fully integrated market-ready solution. This platform wouldn't just be a product. It would be a market disruptor in the purest sense. In developed nations with mature EV infrastructure, it offers electric range and zero-emissions hydrogen driving. In emerging markets with weak grids and no charging network, it delivers the fuel efficiency and durability of the dynamic force engine. The same vehicle could be sold unchanged in design in both Norway and Nigeria, and excel in both. The strategy is pure hedging genius. By covering petrol, hydrogen, and electric within a single vehicle, Toyota insulates itself from geopolitical risk raw material shortages, and the slow pace of infrastructure development. No matter which propulsion technology becomes dominant in the next two decades, Toyota will already be there. For rivals who have poured everything into a single pathway, especially EV exclusives, the implications are grim. Roadmaps built on the assumption of an inevitable EV takeover suddenly look vulnerable. Years of R&D could be rendered obsolete in the time it takes Toyota to launch one model line. The message from Toyota's boardrooms to the rest of the auto industry is brutally simple. The race isn't over, and the finish line has been moved. The company isn't content to compete within the tracks others have laid. It's reshaping the road, redrawing the map, and setting the pace for a multi-powered, multi-fuel, and multi-market future. In this game, Toyota isn't just a contender. It's the architect of the next automotive era.